Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. In this video, we're going to show you how to rack your server. Let's get going. All right, so we're going to go ahead and actually put the rails into the rack now. Uh, just to note, in case you're interested in watching this, we're not doing cable management in this. We're strictly just doing uh, how to actually rack it and put your rails in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I uh, have one of our techs back there to help us. Uh, so I like to... Um, just line everything up properly. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you get the right rail. We're starting on the right side. Uh, Angel, we're going to do 15 and 16. So let's go ahead and line this up. And then when you get to this point, there's uh, two pieces that will clip right in. And then this right here, you'll hear it click. So that clicks right into place. Um, and it clicked in the back as well. If you want to remove it, this blue clip right here, you pull out and this will come back out, okay? So now it's back out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in since we're actually installing it. Okay, so that, uh, it's really just that simple. Um, and now the rails are, are physically in there. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll do the left side now. All right, so now we're gonna do the left rail kit. So it says left, same thing. Uh, we're gonna line it up in 15 and 16 again. So I'm gonna hand it to our tech back here. Um, then I'm gonna line this up you have uh, the two notches that will go in and then when I push this, you got it lined up on your side. All right, perfect. When I push this, you'll hear it click in and it's in just that simple and we are good to actually install the, uh, the server itself. But I do want to point out again, same blue clip. If you did want to remove it, just pop that out and this will come right back off. So I'm going to put it back in, uh, but it's just that simple. Um, just make sure you hear that click. Okay, so now we'll put the actual server in. All right, so now we're gonna physically put the server in. So we are gonna slide our rails out. And you'll notice there's actually kind of different pieces within the rail as it keeps sliding. And you're gonna hear a couple of clicks to get it all the way out. Now it's fully locked into place here, okay? So we're gonna grab the server. And on the server, um, I wanna show you there's some, um, some rivets on the side here. Uh, if you kind of point this over. So if you notice these rivets right here, uh, this is going, there's gonna be little notches in the rails that are carved out for these three rivets. Really, there's four of them on each side. So we're gonna go ahead and just line each of them up. Okay, your side good? Yes, sir. All right, my side's good. So it'll click into place, you hear that little click. And then if you wanna push this back, there's a, a clip over here that you're gonna need, you're need to push in. And now you can actually slide your server into the rack and now your 530 is officially a true rack mount so uh, appreciate you guys watching if you need to uh, order an r530 yourself we custom build r530s and we'd love an opportunity to earn your business and if you made it this far click that like smash that subscribe mm -hmm.